everyone and welcome back to War on Robber. Today we're taking on the newly added heist, the Black Diamond Casino. And for this heist, the only tools you're gonna need is a lockpick and a sticky drill. So let's get this one started. For starters, you wanna grab your duffel bag and grab your lockpick. And from the truck, you wanna take a immediate left and go to the first door that we see right in front of us and unlock it with our lockpick. After unlocking it, we're gonna go through this first door to the left, hide underneath this camera, hug the wall and grab the utility key card off the table. Next, we're gonna open up this door Grab the vault key card from this guard. And take our duffel bag across the way to the staff only room and unlock it with our lock pick. After unlocking this room, take the utility key card, open up the utility room and disable the alarm. Next, we're gonna grab our duffel bag, go across the casino floor again, wait outside the staff only room for that guard to return. Once he walks past us, we're gonna place our duffel bag right back here go back to our truck and suit up for the heist. Also, while we're at it, we're gonna grab our sticky drill and bring it along with us. We're gonna leave our sticky drill at this door, grab our duffel bag, sneak under here to the security room, grab our lockpick, unlock the door to the security room, open up this door, close this door behind us, and now we're gonna zip tie every civilian in here and we're gonna shoot the guard watching the cameras. Do the check-in on the wall and now the cameras are disabled. If you open this door and there's a guard out there, just wait a couple seconds before the guard moves. Once he does, close this door, take our duffel bag, and we're gonna head upstairs. And we're gonna take out this guard that's guarding this door. Take his phone and do the check-in across the hallway. Next, we're gonna use our lockpick and unlock this first door that we see to the manager's office. Also, while we're at it, we're gonna take our lockpick and unlock this first door to the left. And we're also gonna unlock this door across the hallway for future reference. Now, once both those doors are unlocked, grab the laser key card off the desk of the managers. And now we're gonna head back downstairs, make sure the guard's not looking, going right behind him. Take our lockpick out and unlock this door over here. Crouch if you need to, so you don't get spotted by the guard that comes in. Go in here, hug the wall, and we're gonna simply take out this guard guarding the vault door. Take his phone and use the check-in on the wall. Wait for this guard to move, and what we're gonna do is drag this guard's body outside. You'll see in a little bit why we're dragging this guard's body outside. We'll simply drag him into the corner here. Make sure you grab your sticky drill. And we're gonna go into the vault area now. Once we're here, grab the vault key card, unlock the vault, and now we're done with the vault key card. Once we get in here, take the laser key card and place it on this table right next to us. Take our lockpick and unlock both these doors. After both these locks are done, place your lockpick right here for future reference and grab your laser key card. Now, when you use the laser key card, they'll be deactivated for 30 seconds. After those 30 seconds are up, the lasers will reactivate, locking you in if you're not quick enough. Simply when you use it, you wanna go in as quickly as you can and loot everything as quickly as possible. You'll be able to tell when the lasers are about to reactivate because when it gets to 10 seconds, the tone of pitch of the countdown is much higher than normal. And once that happens, just grab the laser key card and deactivate the lasers once again. Keep doing this until you have all the loot from the right side. Now, there is a cart in the vault that you can use to take the loot back to the van. If you're using the multiple bag method, what I recommend doing is closing the vault doors. That way, when you do the multiple bags, they don't go tumbling into the lasers, alerting the guards. When you go to leave to go back to the van, make sure that guard's not watching. Just peek real quick and go back to the truck. Simply do this until you have all the loot from the right side of the vault. Also, be careful when returning back to the vault area to not get spotted by the guard either. After looting the entire right side of the vault, now it's time for the left side of the vault. This is where a sticky drill comes in play. The reason why I told you to drag that dead body outside rather than leave it where it is is because when we use the sticky drill on the vault door, our guard is going to get alerted by the sound and come to investigate. If we left the body there, he'll see the body and alert the cops. So what we're going to do is take our sticky drill, place it on the top lock, and normally it should trigger one of these guards to come to investigate. Sometimes it will and sometimes it won't. And since we placed the sticky drill on the top lock, it'll drop down to the second lock and unlock that door. Once that's done, the vault door is unlocked. And now we can simply loot the left side of the vault. The left side has bonds and two piles of cash. If you want a quicker way of leaving the vault area, you can actually open up these shutter doors by pressing the button on the wall. If you do this though, make sure you grab that guard's body from earlier and drag it further away, preferably into the back of your truck. And after looting the entire vault, you can see our total take is $204,000 but we're not done there. There's still more to loot. Once we got our lockpick from the doors that we opened up earlier, we're gonna head down to the left over here and go up the scaffolding. 
What's at the top of the scaffolding? We're gonna go through this door, which we unlocked earlier. Head through that manager's office that we unlocked earlier. Head through this other door that we unlocked earlier and go down this hallway, down these stairs, and we're gonna take out two guards at the bottom of these stairs. Once we take out both these guards, take their phones and use the check-ins on the wall over here. Now, this door is locked with a hand scanner and you can scan the hands of the guards all you want, but it's gonna be access denied. There's two people in particular that this hand scanner will work on. Simply take your lockpick, go up these stairs, unlock this door right here, open this door, and then the next thing we're gonna do is open up the shutter door. The hands that we're looking for is these two mobsters out back here. But be careful, there is a guard that's patrolling out here. So what we're gonna do is wait for this guard to move. We're gonna take out these two gangsters and we're gonna drag their body inside here. Sadly, if you kill both these gangsters, they're counted as civilians and you lose $5,000 each. Simply grab one of the hands of these gangsters, drag him down to the hand scanner and scan his hand. Doing so should open up the door. Next, we're gonna zip tie all of the civilians in here. After zip tying all the civilians, take your lock pick, come through here and lock this door to the right. And now we have all of this to loot. Now to make sure you get all the loot in this area, I'm gonna go through each table and break it into sections. So starting off with table number one on the left here, has 19 sets of chips, five stacks of cash, and three brown packages. Table number two on the right here has 24 stacks of chips, six stacks of cash, two white packages, and a gold watch that can be looted. The bar itself has nothing that can be looted, but if you go behind the bar, you'll notice some wine bottles that can be looted. There should be 12 bottles in total that can be looted behind the bar. Outside the locked door room, there's a small table, which has a couple of brown packages, one white package, and a couple of stacks of money. And now we're on to the main room. Sadly, you can't take any of the guns back for cash, but there's a lot of packages and another stack of cash that can be taken back to the truck. Don't forget inside the manager's office, there's a stack of cash you can loot and six stack of chips that you can loot also as well. And the route will take to avoid all the guard sites. It will go up these stairs, through this hallway. We're gonna take a minute left through the manager's office, go out this door, go out this door to the roof. Hop up on the railing here. And we're gonna jump down onto this dumpster. Take a wide berth so we don't get spotted by the guard that's over there go behind the truck and we're gonna do this until we have all the loot after we get all the rest of the loot we can head back to the truck and end the heist and once we get back to the truck you can see we're ending the heist with three hundred and seventy six thousand dollars the game is super framey we can end the heist but since we kill the two mobsters it drops it down to three hundred and sixty six thousand dollars and this is how you do the black diamond casino i hope you enjoyed the video please leave a like comment and subscribe to help the channel grow and i'll see you in the next video